Hello everybody and welcome back to some Mega Modded Gungeon. We are back once again and I know it has been a while. I really do apologise. I have been slacking on recording Gungeon. I do apologise much later. We're going to jump in as Gene again. But yeah, basically I've just been playing a lot of other brand new games like Diablo and Battlebit um, and neglecting my YouTube. I've also just been busy with work and stuff so it's been kind of hard to fit it in and obviously there's been other games that I've recorded like Voidigo and stuff but either way we are jumping back in to some Gungeon and seeing what we can do with this amazing character which is officially released now uh, any of you that want to go and play it can go and check it out on the Thunderstore and it's been officially released well basically so far I'm gonna have to see if I can remember how to play this guy we get ourselves five minions um and we have to get them below I think it's like 10% HP before we can minionize them but we only want to grab certain enemies, so we will see about doing that. Gimme him. There you go. Sex double shot. Locked and loaded. I, I can't remember how many enemies we've got to like put into this before this uh, pays out. I cannot remember, but we'll figure it out as we go along here, won't we? We'll figure it out as we go along. GG coming in. No thank you. Two of the same uh, champion style there. But yeah, we'll try and be selective about who we who we grab straight off the bat. There was a slight tweak based on some of the suggestions that I made on the episode me and Nevernamed recorded as well, so thank you Nevernamed for implementing those. See, we can grab another one of these guys to get higher chance to take the upple shot, and I think I will do that actually. There you go, beautiful. Maybe we'll grab one of these guys as well. The bat. Oh, bollocks. That was such a bad hit. Oh, triple shot. Oh, sex double shot and triple shot. Hell yes. Also, we get the mop, which I don't remember being particularly good, but I'll take it. And we got extra key out of it as well, so it was basically free. Why not? Why the hell not? Okay. Let's take a, another triple shot as well, so we get six couple and triple shot in there a bunch of times. Another triple shot. And we'll go for one other unique enemy that's different than those ones. And we'll see what we end up getting. Ammo that we don't need, unfortunately. But yeah, really like this character. Last time I played him, had a hell of a lot of fun as them. And I will hopefully have a hell of a lot of fun as them once again. It's good to be back in Gungeon. It's been a bit of time. It's been like over a week. I really do apologize, people that enjoy it a lot. Ah, I forgot that when you reload, it does like a burst of damage. I've got to be paying attention to that. Makes it a little hard to grab what you want to grab, but it is what it is. Grab the extra key. Lovely. I think it's maybe five enemies that we suck in. And then we're good to go. I will take one curse. It's always nice to have a little bit of curse to start out with. It's nice to have those enemy variants, actually, to be able to grab curse like that. I'm not going to grab this guy because we've already got a lot of this guy in there. It just gives a higher chance of getting this, the modifier. It doesn't actually add, like, the, getting the modifier twice. There's a higher chance for the same one. So we'll do that and we'll move on. Moving and grooving on. What we got in here? Yeah, I think these enemies, because they're modded, don't have any specific unique modifiers yet. So I'll leave those for now. And then chest-wise, we've got ourselves another brown chest. Ooh. Ooh. Really good active, actually. A really good active. Very, very happy with it. Okay. Unfortunately, obviously with this gun, not the best damage, but... The faster fire rate and faster reload actually does help this gun do significantly better, so that's rather nice. Still though, it's not great. We're going to have some trouble with it. Trying to specifically take out this guy here. Not having a familiar early here is slightly hurting us. Okay, that's him dead. Good, good, good. We might get another charge of our active before we uh, finish this fight as well. Yeah, nice. It's been a little while since I played this game, so forgive me if I don't flawless. 
Also, this is a spam fire gun where it's better to rapid fire your trigger. And honestly, my finger is really hurting. Like, I haven't done this in a while. Oh my god. Oh, we got extra keys. Rather nice. Rather nice. And we get ourselves um, what looks to be a new gun to me. I don't remember ever seeing this gun before. The Auto Claver. Portable autoclave intended to be used for the rage sterilization of laboratory equipment. Very popular amongst germaphobes. The geneticist was known for his liberal use of this device back when he was still allowed to show his face in public, as well as his mildly more conservative use of it. Uh, when one of his undergrads no longer had a face to show in public. Damn, okay. So... Interesting. Nice. I think that's from this mod, right? Oh, cool, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is from this mod. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I could go to the uh, alt floors, but I'm just going to carry on with this run. I suppose I should go to the alt floors with the geneticist at some point and see if there's any unique modifiers down there. Because I'm sure, like, on the extra floors, potentially maybe even on, like, the, um, the RNG department, there could be some unique modifiers. That's one thing. If there isn't, that's one thing I'd like to see them add. I know that they said they're going to add more modifiers to other enemies and stuff as they go on, but it'd be really cool to see um, more modifiers added to, like, sort of enemies that only appear on certain floors. So there's, like, a really good reason to go to those floors sort of thing. This thing seems pretty good. And an extra key as well. Wow, okay. So we're going we're gonna to try and take this guy. From what I remember, these guys have a lot going for them. Well, uh, oh, I've got the wrong active out, that's why. I was like, why can't I grab him? Radial attack. Here we go. We got projectile, poison, sextuple, triple. Okay. We got a lot of shit going on there. He's spreading out crazy amounts of fire. He's got sextuple and triple shot. I think this guy's pretty golden. I think we got a really good first dude. I don't know why he's not in this room with us right now. Um, you alright there, buddy? You're just gonna sit behind the door. Apparently you don't know how to get through that door. Teleportation. Teleportation isn't super valuable, but we'll take it. Are you... You alright there, buddy? Can you can you not fit through this? No. Can't fit through that gap. Can you, can you get through here? Oh, okay. He made it through this one. Dude, this guy's nutty. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Okay, we created an absolute god tier familiar to start off with. Gotta love it. <laughs> My god. What have we created here? Holy shit. This guy's amazing. This thing's pretty ammo efficient as well. Unfortunately, the fire is going to make it rather hard to accurately uh, steal people. Damn it, I killed him instead. I didn't mean to kill him. Whoops. Yeah, it's going to make it rather hard to, to pick people up when we want to. Be good. Dude, this guy is cracked. We've got the best boy to ever live. We don't need anyone else. He just covers the entire room in fire. There's a ton of damage per shot. And fires about a billion shots every time he fires. It's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Shop, hello. Secret room. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Um, wooden dice. Oh, my lord. When you fire a bullet, a random number is rolled between 1 and 6. The bullet's damage is changed depending on the number. If the number is 1, the bullet's damage uh, is modified by 0 0.25. Um, if the number is 2, it's 0 0.7. Up to 4. Okay. There is a, this item has a hidden value that it will change the outcome of random rolls each shot. When the item is first created, the number is set 
confusing. I'm just going to take it. It seems interesting. Basically, it seems like a lucky shot modifier where sometimes our bullets will do more damage. Sometimes they'll do less damage. I like the idea. Oh, it tells us per, per shot as well. Goddamn, grabbing new enemies is going to be so difficult. <laughs> Dude, I wanted him. For fuck's sake. Oh my god. This is going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. But to be fair, if he, if he if he doesn't want any other friends, that's that's his uh, prerogative. I guess um I guess he just wants to be an only child and he is carrying the team, so I don't mind it so much. I think with a gun like this, this dice is overall pretty damn good. Dude, so many keys this room. What the hell's going on? What the actual hell is going on? <clears throat> Sorry, buddy. Can't come through here with me. Oh, no, you can. It's fine. Smileys. Fine by me. Mini boss, let's go. Ooh, the, the, the potion of gun friendship with this gun might be real good. Because of fire rate increase, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh my goodness. What the fuck did I just do to him? Ooh, hello. Nice grenade launcher there. I like it. Pipe launcher. Hello. Table tech sight is always good. And let's go and do this mini boss as well. Power him all the way up. <coughs> My buddy will uh, will take care of him for me. Nice and easy kill. To be heavily rewarded. As I said. Heavily rewarded. Scales. Bloody scales. All items are doubled, but taking damage has a low chance to be lethal. Having more items increases that chance. Um, I swear I have original ideas. Picking up a passive item for the first time will give the player another random passive item of the same quality. Picking up a gun for the first time will give him another random gun. Um, gives the player a 1% chance to instantly die when taking damage, increasing... That sounds incredible. Sounds incredible. Right. Let's go. It's fun to be had this run. Honestly, I don't think we need any new friends. I think this guy is all we need. Okay, maybe we'll use the minute gun on this guy. Oh, minute gun's out of ammo. Why? <laughs> I just got it. I think for when he fires and I fire at the same time, it breaks DPS cap. Or something. Is this- Oh, this is the duck gun. I fucking love this gun. Although, I swear though, this thing is like so fucking good with this wooden dice. We've got two of Sparpy's items that are pretty sick right now. Right, let's go to the next floor. So th this run is pretty awesome right now, but it could just end. <laughs> we'll see. You watch me get the tiny, minuscule chance. To fucking die straight away. I mean, I say it's tiny minuscule. With the amount of items we have, it's actually not that minuscule. It's like a 4% chance right now. Maybe a fat, maybe 5 or 6. Um, but you, you watch it trigger on my very first hit. I love the idea of the item, though. That's the sort of risk I can I can get behind. Because the thing is, because it's double items, it, it increases the chance of it happening by a lot. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to get another an, another um, mutant going, is there? Like, he just kills everything straight away. 
Dude, didn't mean to take damage to that. Fuck. Every time I take damage, I'm so scared now. Yeah, I got I got a sniper in there. Oh, dude, I got hit again. What the fuck? Fuck off, hitting me. Minion, do your thing. Yeah, he just insta-kills everything. I don't know what's going on with his damage, but it's absolutely bonkers. Gun muncher we can probably use. We've got a lot of stuff going on right now, like that. I'm not going to use the mop. And I probably won't use the, the pipe gun for now. I just don't think it's that useful when we've got this dice thing going on. Oh, mahogany. I like that. Oh, it gives us a second gun as well. But of course. Dude, I really wanted to suck him up. You just... Why do you kill everything in one shot? It's a blessing and a curse. Like, not only does he kill everything in one shot, he covers the entire room in so much fire. And it's fire that doesn't even deal damage to me. What the fuck is going on with all the keys, man? Holy shit, this run's so lucky. Gun boots, and it also... What else did it give me? I'm gonna have to check every time now. It gave me bronze amulet. Nothing crazy. Over this way we go. Wait, it doubles the shots from my my body as well? I did not know that. Oh, what the fuck? I'm on fire. Since when? Oh, there was a tiny bit of fire right there, for fuck's sake. Every time I get hit, I'm shitting myself that I'm just going to die instantly now. That mimic bullets as well, yeah. Why not? Laser projectiles. Poison trail. Poison trail is probably terrible, actually. Probably don't want poison trail. All the ammo as well, dude. Being so lucky. Don't need to be in this room. Oh, we got we got enough for another boy. Teleportation. Poison Trail plus shot. He's a cool looking guy. I hope Poison Trail doesn't poison us, otherwise I'm going to hit him. Realistically, I shouldn't be picking up guns because I ain't going to be using them. Um, let's use Duck Gun for a bit and see how it does. Legitimately, it doesn't matter how it's going to do, because my boy's going to kill everything. Uh, switch over to Mermaid Gun for a bit. What a fucking stupid hit that was. You can tell I haven't played Gungeon in a while. That was like the dumbest roll you could possibly make. Also, the poison does not affect me. Oh, wait, no, I'm using the siren. Idiot. Siren, you can't be hurt by poison. Which is actually a good reason to use the siren more, I guess. I'll keep it as my secondary. And then... There it is. Give me the steam. Right, let's go. We've got, we've got another buddy. I can't believe it. We got another buddy.
That's something I didn't expect to see. I did not expect to see that. Come on, next floor. Hurry yourself up. I think it's going to be a fairly speedy run as well, this. If this floor will load. There you go. 20 minutes to Chamber 4. This guy is amazing. That was a jammed hit that I just took there. Oh, and he does poison us as well, you little shitheads. You little fucker. Get out of here. At least he's got teleportation, so he fucks off for a bit. I hate that. I thought he would, but... Why can't I suck up a chicken? At least, like, my dude here will be getting rid of most of the poison by laying down more fire. I'm just anything since the chickens a lot. Why can't I suck up a chicken? I want to create a mutant out of just chickens. Dude, I got fucking hit by a jam bullet again! I realise I've got Mimic Bullets going on, so I'm going to get hit by them more often than not, but still, it's annoying. I wanted him, but there's so much fucking poison! I fucking hate you. You're an absolute shyster. Don't like you with your poison trail bullshit. Never again will I suck up one of those dudes. Dude, I don't want guns. Fuck, fuck the guns. I don't want guns. I've got enough guns. And by enough guns, I mean I have one gun. I need poison immunity as soon as humanly possible. God damn, this is a fun run. <laughs> like creating just this absolutely godly minion right off the bat has been uh been quite special. That little fucking shithead piece of cunt. He laid his bullshit, stupid, fucking poison, crapping, shitting, fuck, 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 and I die on the point one per- I don't know what chance it was, it's probably like a 10% chance at this point, but still. Fuck you with your fucking stupid poison goop. Why the fuck aren't I immune to my own minion's poison? What's the fucking point? Oh my god. Anyways, that was a fun run, completely destroyed by my own risk-taking, but also, you see that little picture there? That little shrimp-looking motherfucker can go kill itself. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you guys in the next one.